Today starts the special series, Democracy 2024, Families in Focus. And I'll be sitting down with spouses and close family members of the 2024 presidential candidates. Candid interviews to take you behind the scenes and bring you personal stories from those closest to the men and women looking to lead our nation. First up, Apoorva Ramaswamy. I spent the day with her as she was campaigning alongside her husband, Vivek Ramaswamy, in New Hampshire. I want to celebrate my family who's here with me today as well. Apoorva wanted to celebrate Flag Day with us, so she'll take some questions from you all, too. Where did you grow up? I grew up all over. So I'm an immigrant. I was born in India, but we moved when I was four. And I like to say I've lived on every coast of the United States. So I've lived on the West Coast, Florida, uh, Great Lakes in Michigan, and then on the East Coast in New York and Connecticut. Where were you in Michigan? We were in Troy and Bloomfield Hills. So tell me about growing up, what your aspirations were. You know, when I was a kid growing up, I was pretty nerdy, loved science, um, and growing up I always thought I would want to be a scientist, work in a lab, and actually it was in college when I had my first job there working at, in the waiting room of the hospital. But wow. that was my favorite job in all of college, was just being there with people who were going through something very difficult and meaningful in their lives and being able to help in some way. And that's what really convinced me that I should go into medicine and actually be one-on-one -on -one with people every day. And in a lot of ways, that's not that different from politics and campaigning because we're out here hearing from people about what they're going through in their lives and seeing how we can help them. I'm a surgeon. I treat swallowing disorders. And, you know, yesterday I just did 11 surgeries. Dr. Apoorva Ramaswamy is an otolaryngologist at Ohio State University. But today, she's with voters at this Hillsborough Republican Party event in New Hampshire. Can you tell us why your husband would make a great president of the United States? Well, thank you. What's your name? Terry. Terry, thank you so much for that question, Terry. Well, Vic and I recently had our eight-year anniversary, and, uh, you know, he has been saying some pretty ambitious things to me since we met. So right before we got married, he told me, you know, Apoorva, I think I want to start a company because pharmaceutical companies don't have our interests at heart. They make things too expensive, they take too long, and they don't make the drugs that we need. And he said, I'm gonna start this company. And I said, wow, Vivek, that's a pretty big thing. Why, are you sure that's what you wanna do right now? And he said, yes. And you know what? That, that company has now gotten five drugs approved. Then, while he was CEO of that company, he told me, right, like a month after we had our first baby, he said, Apoorva, I don't like the role that politics is playing in how I do my job. It should get out of business. He said, I'm gonna write a book about it. And you know what? I think it's gonna be a New York Times bestseller. And, and I said, this was back in 2020. No one knows what ESG is. No one knows what stakeholder capitalism. You should totally write that book, but I, I don't see it being a bestseller. And you know what? It was a bestseller within a week. And now he told me a few months ago that Apoorva, we are facing a crisis for our country, for the country our two little sons are gonna inherit. And I think we have to be the ones to step up and lead our country because no one's going to unify us. No one's going to remind us of why this country is the best nation in the world. And this time I learned my lesson. I said, hey, <laughs> tell me how I can help. It's a full day out here, pastimes and politics and family. I want to do the bubbles. Did you bring bubbles ah, the, the big bubbles. <laughs> the Ramaswamis met at a party in graduate school. She was studying medicine and he was studying law. I don't even remember what he was talking about, but he just has this energy. And I went up to him and, you know, actually, I have to tell you the truth, Harris, that conversation did not go very well because the first thing I said to him was, I just met another Vivek. No. <laughs> <laughs> Were you serious? She wasn't kidding. Vivek walked away. We saw each other later, and this time we realized that we had so much in common. We've been together ever since. Wow. Before we were engaged, 
I told my mom, I've met someone and I'm pretty sure he's going to change the world. So I didn't know how exactly that was going to be, but I, I think now he's kind of, it just makes sense now that he's doing what he's doing in a lot of ways. Married eight years with two children, three-year-old Karthik and baby Arjun, who just turned one. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, my gosh. Gosh. This is our opportunity, though. This is our moment as a conservative movement to now level up. We've been pointing out the poison for a long time. We've been running from something. Now is our moment to start running to something. We're running to what it actually means to be an American. We look to the president not just as the person who's sitting across from world leaders, but really to be the role model in a lot of ways to our children, to our whole community. When I was a kid, we would we tried to. I mean, it was Bill Clinton, but we tried to look up to them and say, "Hey, this is this this is a family of good people. We should look up to them. They they have accomplished the American dream, and they're here fighting for our values on the world stage. And so, it's important for them to care about the family." What do you think now? You brought up Clinton. Let's talk about Biden. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at his children. Look at how they live their lives. They. It's. With Biden, it's hard because he doesn't represent anything. He's a nice old man who is kindly and a nice uncle. And that's a lot of reason why people voted for him, is because they wanted someone who would just seemed like a good figurehead. And so we have someone who looks like a nice uncle, but he doesn't say, he doesn't stand for anything. He does whatever other people tell him to do. And we really need someone who has convictions of his own to really be in that role. A wife, a mother, a surgeon. Apoorva says this is the perfect time for America to get to know Vivek Ramaswamy and his family. It's nice to see you with him.